Okay, so I know it might be kind of tough to see what's going on here, um, but I'm, I'm gonna walk you through. This is my set of uh, session symbols that I use in the studio. And uh, golly, man, they just, they sound so phenomenal. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about these. I'm just gonna tell you what they are and um, let you hear. I'm not doing any special miking techniques. Uh, I'm not gonna process it like crazy. Um, I'm just gonna basically give you uh, the audio that sounds like the cymbal should sound. Uh, this is uh, a 14 set of zebra hats. Um, I think that's uh, just the regular zebra, oh, I'm sorry, medium. Medium hats, 14 inch zebra hats. They sound unbelievable. Probably my favorite set of hats that I have from Samsung. Uh, this is a 12 inch uh, effects loop splash. This is a 21st century medium crash, 21 inches. Um, this here would be a uh, 21st traditional RB, 21 inch medium thin ride. Uh, and you can tell by the, the raw bell here. This one over here is a uh, 20 inch uh, heritage medium crash. And the China over here would be a uh, an Evo, Evo medium thin China, nine, 19 inch China. So this is the studio set up and let's hear how they sound in context. So here's my live setup with Diamond Rio. Um, and unfortunately, with my limit of ceiling down here in the basement, 
you may not be able to see all these symbols. I'm sorry for that. Uh, you'll just have to take my word on what they are. Uh, over to my left, uh, I, well, let's start with the hats. Uh, I play uh, medium. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to read these. Uh, my sticks have worn off a little bit of the paint here. 15-inch uh, medium hi-hats of the 21st Brilliant RB line. So all of their line, the Samsung's, uh, their RB lines are the ones that have this raw bell right here. And what I found that I love about that is uh, it takes just a little bit, it's like these symbols are brighter than my session symbols. Uh, just, a, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, and for live play, you want something that's gonna cut a little more. Um, so they work, at least I do. So they work awesome for that, work awesome for Diamond Rio music. Uh, but the, the raw bell will make, to me, they just, they'll take one symbol that's that's kind of bright and they'll make it just slightly darker. So as you can see, we'll, we'll come to that here on my crash symbols because one is a uh, an RB crash and the other one is not. But uh, these are, yeah, like I said, 15 inch, uh, 21st Brilliant RB hats and they sound amazing live they're a little bigger obviously than my uh session hats and a little more rock and roll a little more little maybe a little bit louder a little sloshier for live play um i don't know if you can see these very well or not uh but this is a medium 10 inch splash 21st traditional line splash right here i love this little thing uh it's it's 10 inches but it's like man it really cuts uh it's a splash that really cuts and i'm pretty crazy about this symbol right now. I've kind of taken it for granted over the last month or so, uh, but it's it's really great. Um, and then over here I have, sorry, I'm having to read these, make sure, just sure I uh, say correctly what I have. The absolute line, which is a lot of these symbols right here, and an absolute RB, uh, it's an ab absolute 12 inch splash with the RB. So it's just a little bit darker. I want a little bit of separation between the two splashes over here for some of the work that I do with Diamond Rio. Um, off the hi-hat with these uh, two splashes. I think they work really well together. So that's that. Uh, this is, a, I'm sure there's an absolute, I uh, can't read it. I think it's the absolute uh, thin crash, a 20 inch absolute thin crash. So as you can see, they're, they're a brilliant all the way up through the bell. This has got some uh, fingerprints on it and stick marks because I've been using these really heavily and they have stood up to my heavy playing, no cracks, nothing. Uh, just a really great, 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 great symbol company. I can't say enough, enough good things about them, how they sound, how they look, how they stand the test of time, just amazing. So this is a 20 inch thin crash of the absolute line. Uh, over here on a ride, we have a, another traditional, much like what I use uh, in the studio except this is a medium ride, no no RB, no raw bell up here. I wanted the bell and the cymbal to cut a little more, like I said, for live use. Um, so I can still crash this a little bit. It's a little bit heavier, uh, but it, you can still you can still kind of crash it. It's kind of wa washy, uh, but it still does that, that pingy thing that's really great in Diamond Rio music that Brian always used. Uh, so I love that. Here's another uh, absolute crash. This is a 20 inch absolute crash but as you can i hope you can see in the video maybe not but this is a rb raw bell over here so what this does you know these are almost the same symbol to my left and to my right my crashes except this one has the rb for just a little bit different tone so when i hit them both at the same time or when i go from one to the other they don't sound exactly alike they have a little bit different tone and for my playing i like that i don't know if you can see this or not if not i'll kind of pull it in right here uh this is the effects loop uh, how big is this? This is a 20, I believe this is a 20 inch loop crash. And what I love about the loop crashes, um, obviously it's full of holes, <laughs> but it plays like, I don't mind playing a China and the way that a China symbol is shaped. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but what I, I love is that this feels like a crash, but when you hit it, it's got that trashy China sound and uh as far as like how it looks cool with the holes in it and whatever but it also gives me um, the option where i used to have a china over here and i have a china uh, for session use uh i do not have a china but i have this thing which is just like having another big old crash over here 
but yet sounds like a China. I don't know. It's just a change up. And it is the RB line. This has the, the raw bell on it, so it makes it even darker when you hit it. I uh, really like this symbol. I wasn't sure how much I would like it. And live, I play it like way more on stuff where I want to make a point. Um, they're not for everyone. The China sound's not for everyone. Uh, but for live stuff, it can really enhance uh, some stuff. I know particular on a song we do called Bubba Hyde. If you're a Diamond Rio fan, you know that song. And there's a part where Dan takes a break on the piano and he does these little accents, accent things that are really cool. And instead of just using, you know, my crashes or whatever, it makes more of a point when I go to this thing and I hit those kind of offbeat accents on the effects loop crash. And it sounds, to my ears, it sounds really cool. And I'm really digging that. So anyway, there's that. It might be out of the, out of frame now, but you can, you will hear when I hit it. So let's hit these guys and see what they sound like in context. Okay, so as you can see here, we have, and I'm sure Tim Qualls will correct me if I'm wrong here, uh, but I believe this is Samsung's newest line of symbols. Uh, I'm not sure that you can order these yet as their prototypes that Tim so graciously let me bring home uh, when I saw him last time in Texas. So we have these at the house right now. Uh, as of that time, they were Samsung's newest line. They're called Master's Finest. And as you can tell by looking at them right off the bat, they're beautiful. They're really cool. Very, uh, that raw feel of the bell that we had on some of the other ones. They have like this raw line 
width in the middle. Um, and I think there's like a really special balance here between dark and brilliant uh, and this raw, uh, where you hit it, as far as where you strike it with a stick. And all this, I'm not a symbol guru, but I know there are reasons for why some of these things are made the way they're made. Uh, and it's definitely a lot of it has to do with where you strike it uh, with a stick, stuff like that. So anyway, to my eyes and ears, they're just gorgeous. Um, and uh, so what we have here, uh, if you can see over here at, at this crash, I believe this is a 20 inch, it's a 20 inch thin. Uh, this is a 21 inch, I believe, medium thin ride. This would be an 18 inch thin crash. These hats are medium thin. Man, I'm so, I think they're 15s. I believe they're 15 inch hats. And then we have a thin 10 inch crash over here. So uh, I'm going to do a little demo of them. Uh, and like I said before, Nothing fancy here. My setup at home is not a fancy setup, uh, miking and all that stuff. We're just gonna go for it raw. Uh, but you'll be able to hear uh, how these, these uh, or this series relates to the tonality of the drums. Hopefully uh, you can make that distinction by my miking. And uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so we'll call this here a little bonus. Uh, I forgot to throw in two crashes that I also have that I switch out. Uh, these go with my session setup and I switch these in and out pretty often depending on the song or the session. Uh, this is a thin absolute RB uh, 18 inch crash over here. And then if you can see it over here, this is a heritage line 18 inch medium crash. And I'm gonna play those. The other symbols are Master's Finest setup. I'm gonna play these crashes for a minute and let you hear them before we are finished.
In conclusion, I can't say enough good things about Samsung symbols. Uh, a lot of you have read on my Facebook, my social media, where I first heard Samsung and it was a head turner and that doesn't happen. Uh, my buddy Paul Chris heard him down in Texas. Uh, we, they were playing with Diamond Rio and uh, I went out front, listened to them, uh, listened to Paul play and his cymbals just fit so well in the mix. And I was expecting another brand as I had never heard of Samsung before. And uh, I instantly was like, I gotta ask this guy what cymbals he's using because they sound so great. And so I went to him and I asked him and he said, man, it's this company called Samsung. This guy named Mustafa over in Samsung, Turkey, uh, designs these and he was he's worked for uh, a bunch of, well, a bunch of, a few of the major uh, symbol brands designing their s signature lines. He's designed some really signature lines for some big name brands. Uh, he was not a fan of how a lot of those people treat their customers, those companies, and um, not a fan of what they price their symbols at because he knows better and feels like they're, they're gouging a lot of their customers. Uh, so he just started his own company with the same techniques he's been doing for the the big companies over the years. Uh, he uses, uh, I think it's called B20 Brass. Tim can correct me in the comments. I wanna tell him about this video. Uh, and he can give everybody else some technical information that I am really bad at remembering. So uh, if Tim's in the comments, he can verify B20 Brass on all of their lines. I think there's over 20 some lines of symbols now. It's crazy what you can get. And uh, I wouldn't say that there's a quote unquote low line of symbols in the bunch. They're just different, but their most inexpensive line of symbols uses the most top quality brass, Turkish brass that there is. So you're not getting like, uh, man, I can't name a, <laughs> I'm not going to name other symbol companies, but I've had some really cheap symbols in the past from other symbol companies and they just don't sound good. Uh, you're not going to get any symbol from Samsung that sounds bad. Uh, different symbols market toward different drummers, obviously. Some like more darker sounding things, more earthy sounding things. Samsung has all of that. If you're a fan of bright, you want bright that cuts off quicker. You want bright that sustains. You want darker that cuts off quick or darker that sustains. There's literally lines for everything. And uh, everything I've played, I have my preferences for live and studio work and maybe some other certain things. I look forward to getting, I was talking to Tim the other day about getting some more darker earthy stuff uh, just for, for fun for some sessions that call for something like that. So anyway, uh, I, like I said, I hope, I haven't heard the audio to any of this stuff yet. We'll see how it pans out. It's just going through a little mixer here at the house. No fancy studio, no fancy mics, nothing. I hope everything picked up okay. And uh, like I said, Tim will most likely be in the comments. If anybody is interested at all, any of my drummer friends, uh, you're searching for maybe a new line of cymbals, uh, then Tim is the one to call. And they do not pay me to do any of this. There's nothing like that. Uh, I'm doing this video and talking about Samsung cymbals because I seriously think that they are uh, the best symbols that I've ever played. And Tim has been so gracious to me and been such a good guy. He's a great guy to work with. Uh, the best artist rep I've ever worked with in my life. Uh, he loves what he does. He loves drums. He loves cymbals. Um, he is the man if you're talking to him about something. Also, uh, to anybody out there who is in ministry uh, or plays for a church, uh, whatever, you really need to talk with Tim. Um, because I know for a fact that they take that into major consideration. They are just a really, really great company to work with and a really, really great product that I highly recommend to any drummer out there. And uh, like I said, give him a call. Tim, if you want to put your number or contact information uh, in the comments section or give it to me and I can put it in the info section, maybe on YouTube. And uh, happy playing to all of you. Please let me know in the comments below, uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, 
uh, let me know what what uh, line you like the best. I know that the guys at Samsung love feedback. I'd love to see your feedback just based on what I play. What do you prefer? What, what of these three lines? Uh, I guess there's multiple lines in here. But uh, what sounds the best to you? What kind of caters to your style? Uh, what do you... What are you looking for? If it's not any of these lines that I've played today, uh, you say, hey, I want more of this kind of thing. Does Samsung make that? Uh, I can just about guarantee you they do. And I may not know the uh, the line that that is, but Tim will know the line and he'll let you know. So uh, yeah, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, love y'all and uh, everybody be safe. And let's have a good one today. God bless.